Hola Salonatics! Today we are at Las Flores, a Spanish restaurant in the Podium Ortiga Center Mandaluyon. Son lunatics to try the uh, Spanish food in the Philippines and judge how authentic it is. Actually, this lunatic told us that when he saw that we ate that lechon in Cebu, he felt bad for us. Yes, <laughs> he was like, I need them to try really a good lechon or at least cochinillo here. These are the items that were served to us as an entry appetizer. Uh, the, we got the croquetas de chorizo. Very good. Uh, yeah, they were so soft. They taste just like croquetas that we have in Dominican yes, Republic. Yes, I got like a, a ratatouille moments, like when the critic <laughs> came and put and transport to the childhood, like that, but I got transported to my country. It was so... So good. Uh, we also got gambas al ajillo, mm -hmm. and let me tell you that they were the best because they were not over seasoned like in other restaurants that I have tried, and they were just perfect. Yeah. Then we had the parrillada de verduras, very, very good. I really enjoyed that, the parrillada de verduras. Yes, uh, it was a lot of vegetables, but it was a little bit oily for my taste. Ah, I didn't mind. Oh, and worth mentioning that our party brought uh, their own wine. So you can bring your own wine to the restaurant if, if you, you want. want. That's true. So we also ordered a bar of fish. And actually, I didn't like it as much. Yeah, like, the fish I didn't enjoy. It was not very special. It was a little bit dry, to be honest. For me, it tasted like... I felt like they washed the fish with this water and the fish absorbed this taste. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Allegedly. But I think it was uh, because of the... the, the Herbs ah, that they yeah. added that mm -hmm. gave maybe that the flavor. herbs are the one that has been washed. We also ordered the paella negra. Yes, the paella negra was the queen of the night. It was so good and so also tasty, so oh my soft, God, so soft. It looks like a burnt pan because they add like cream cheese. Mm at the at the top and it then very creamy, as you can yeah. see she's mixing it with the cream cheese and everything that made it so creamy so delicious it was on point i would have loved to have more uh, seafood ah. like it didn't have you know seafood proteins one. proteins yeah, yeah. <laughs> But talking about proteins, the cochinillo segoviano was like the star of the night. Oh my god! At, at first it was not available because there, there was not like a full cochinillo, but uh, in the end they produced half a cochinillo. Not it. even, well half a kilo I think. Yeah, They yeah. just gave us a portion of what they had left there, but they didn't have one complete. So we didn't pay full price for that. It was very soft. The, the, the skin was crispy. Crispy AF. But the inside were so tender, tender and soft. And the flavor was orgasmic. There's Absolutely. no other way to describe it. This has been the best pork related dish I have tried in my whole life. And I don't think anything will top this for now. Let's see what happens in the future. But that's that co cochinillo. Oh my gosh, that's 
in a whole different level. I prefer cochinillo to lechon right now. <laughs> So like right now, uh, I, I couldn't decide like which one was the best dish for me between yeah. the cochinillo and, and the, the paella. paella and the croqueta, bro, the croqueta. <laughs> I had to uh, repeat paella serving. Yeah. Also, we took a, a doggy bag home, like they say. Uh, so yeah, because we didn't finish all the food. So we took it home and we ate it the next day and it still was uh, tasty. The verduras were not as fresh but still didn't taste bad at all. Yeah, since they were grilled, yeah. it, it conserved well and it still kept all the flavor and the juiciness of the, the verduras. But yeah, so it's an authentic Spanish food. Yeah, yeah so definitely. This restaurant is very good, Las Flores, totally recommended. Yeah, the environment, the service very, was very, very great. Very good service, excellent service. I really recommend this restaurant. Absolutely. It's not as affordable as we would have liked it to be, but it's understandable because it is a Spanish restaurant in a different country in Asia so obviously the food and the ingredients and everything are imported and that makes them pricier than a Spanish restaurants Spain. are expensive anywhere they are very expensive in our city too yes <laughs> so yeah I'm used to Spanish restaurant prices so yeah, that was our little adventure here at Las Flores. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, this vlog. Thank you so much to all our patrons, Belki, Emilio, Val Mike, JT Teodoro, Val Jun, Poggy Pinoy, Fred Gabriel, and David Sanz. Also, huge shout out to our certified and verified Solunatics, especially Sherry Floor, Janice, Kenny Hill, Brian Cabosora, Glenjen, Eggy, Eje Primicias, Tish21, Yokagi San, Stelberry Jen, V Jalilla, Gabe, WV, Roalf, Tita Wen, Sherbon, Luna X Keloke, Don Rotopuso, Emilio Tavera, and Pinoy OFW Adventure. 